Hi, my name is Frida and I'm from Kazakhstan. I study science and technology and today I'm going to answer some of your questions. Honestly, when I finished high school, I was doubting about the major I want to choose. But thankfully to this program, where we have one and a half year of uh, practical courses and we study general subjects, I could choose based on my experience which field attracts me more. So this way I realized that I'm so into synthetic biology that I chose it. <laughs> So to apply to science and technology, you have to have uh, three things. You have to have your uh, motivation letter, grades, and your in English language proficiency test. And to yeah, I prepared it so uh, when I took an IELTS, then I wrote motivation letter according to questions um, mentioned on our website. Uh, st.ut.ee and then <laughs> and then I submitted my grades so that was very easy because you apply um, everything online academic stuff here I would say very supportive and if you need any help you can ask directly you don't have to wait for a long time if you have some problems or struggles you drop an email to your professor and he or she replies and uh, they're very friendly and uh, if you have any problems you can always ask <laughs> When I googled University of Tartu, of course, I checked a lot of rankings, a lot of uh, photos and pictures, and all the time the photo that I checked was a picture of our main building, and I was thinking that uh, this is a building I'm gonna study in. <laughs> but I was mistaken, because the University of Tartu has a lot of modern campuses all around the Tartu, and uh, there are a lot of uh, modern equipments, uh, especially in uh, our institutes, uh, Institute of Technology and all the new ones. So yeah, I didn't expect <laughs> yeah, here to have so many advanced uh, equipment. In myself, I work uh, in the Institute of Technology, um, in the Log Lab, but uh, in general you can find internship anywhere. If you want to go abroad, you just go and check the websites, because there are many uh, opportunities to go um, uh, Erasmus, um, meaning that you go to some other place and uh, you do an, an Erasmus internship and they pay uh, you for that. And you can also always find uh, internship in different institutes of University of Tartu. When coming here you have, uh, of course, an option to apply for a dorm. You do it beforehand when you're still in your hometown. Mm, but also, if you don't get one, you can always check uh, Facebook or um, different uh, websites and find uh, an apartment to rent. But I would say the most convenient one is, uh, of course, dormitory. And um, I did. Uh, I think all the information about that uh, can be found on the university's website. <laughs> I myself spend a lot of time in the laboratory, <laughs> so that is definitely one of my favorite things to uh, work on uh, some interesting projects. Uh, it's so engaging and uh, you get in the flow and uh, you can work 24-7 there <laughs> because you have a lot of equipment and uh, you can improvise all the time. <laughs> but. Um, I would also say walking, because Tartu is a very nice uh, city, especially in summer or spring or winter, any <laughs> season. And um, yeah, exploring different amazing places here. 
I like that it's, uh, it has a lot of uh, interesting programs and you can choose a lot of uh, subjects on your own and um, I also like that uh, they organized uh, a lot of uh, events for students to get to know each other because when you arrive here you know no one <laughs> but there are student days where you interact with different people who also came here from different points of the world and uh, you don't feel lonely anymore <laughs> so I like that here you can uh, find uh, friends easily and uh, you don't have to uh, be alone. <laughs> um, I wouldn't call uh, my experience here uh, completely Estonian. <laughs> Maybe um, I I went with my friend uh, during summer on, to celebrate uh, summer festival. So we uh, we visited a lot of places and people were making fire and we were jumping over it. So that was really fun and uh, I would never expect Estonian people to be so open and everyone's just <laughs> I was just happy uh, that day. So yeah, I would say traveling uh, um, around Estonia and uh, um, discovering new places here. That is a very cool question actually. I, as I said, I was doubting a lot about this program and about this uh, field but after a lot of practical courses and uh, my experience in this field I think it's uh, it's becoming very uh, uh, it's dynamically growing and we need a lot of specialists in this field in science and technology and I'm uh, very happy with my choice and that I chose it.